friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. In today's class, we will create a login screen with a sign up option too. Many apps require users to log in, so I thought I should teach you this today. We will design a very attractive login screen for a library and I will give you tips about how you can make your login screens very eye catching. We will use CloudDB for storage. Let's get started. Start a new project. Name it Login Screen. Upload Media. I designed this logo in Canva. For Screen 1 properties, make Align Horizontal Center. The background color should be dark gray. Make Screen Orientation Portrait. And change the title to Login. Drag and drop a horizontal arrangement from layout. Make it a line horizontal center. The background color should be none and the height should be 30% and the width should be fill parent. Now drag and drop a vertical arrangement below this horizontal arrangement. A line horizontal should be center. Background color should be none. Height should be 67% and width fill parent. Drag and drop an image from user interface inside the horizontal arrangement. Change the picture to the logo that we uploaded earlier. Don't worry, the image will show clearly when we will test the app using the companion app. Now we come to the main components of our login screen that will go inside this vertical arrangement. Drag and drop a label inside this vertical arrangement. Rename to message label. Make font bold, font size 20, height is 10%, width is fill parent, text alignment is center, remove the text from it. And what is the text color? I will be using the color of my logo, this red. I already have the hex code for it. So I will go and inside custom, I will copy and paste this color. Okay. Now drag and drop a text box below this label. Rename it to user name txt. Now again, I will use this off-white color that I got from my logo as the background color. You can see how I am making my screen attractive. I made the background dark gray and now I'm using colors from my logo for the components. And this is the simplest way to make elegant screens. Coming back to our text box, make the font bold, font size 20. The hint is user name. Drag and drop a label just for spacing. So I'm going to remove the text from it and I'm going to make the height 3%. Now this is important. I will be using this password text box for the password field. The background color is the same off-white color that I used for username text box. So I'm just going to paste it here too. Same properties, font bold, font size 20, but the hint is now password. Drag and drop another label for spacing. Remove the text from it and the height is 3%. Now we will come to the buttons. So drag and drop a button below the label, rename to login button. Now for the background color, I'm gonna give it the same dark red color. So let me get that color for my text file and custom paste done and Font is bold, font size is 20, width is 40%, 
make the shape rounded the text on it is login in capital letters and the text color is the off white color so let me get that one custom paste done okay so look how elegant it is looking now drag and drop another label for spacing remove text but this time the height is two percent now this is important i've already taught you how to duplicate components select the login button and press Control c for copying and then Control v for pasting for duplicating components and for mac os command c and command v and you can see that i just duplicated my login button rename to sign up button but this label should be actually between the buttons okay what are the properties the properties as you can see they were duplicated so i just need to change the text to sign up from storage drag and drop cloud db we will not change the properties here and we will continue with mit app inventor's default cloud db i've already taught in a previous tutorial how you can make your own redis cloud account and make a custom database and change your cloud db properties here but for beginners and small projects this default cloud db by mit app inventor is good enough now add another screen this will be the placeholder for successful login where the user is taken when he enters the correct username and password so make a line horizontal center a line vertical center the background color is dark gray make screen orientation portrait title is the library drag and drop a label here make font bold make font size 30 text on it says welcome to the library and the text color is white come back to the screen one and now we will work on its block section click on blocks get the sign up button click event call the cloud db's store value procedure and what is the tag here the tag is whatever is inside username and what is the value here whatever is inside the password text box a tag identifies data in the cloud db okay as i have explained to you while making a chatting app so basically we have made our username our tag and the password is stored against it now the store value call triggers the data changed event in cloud db and when the data is successfully saved we should show a success message to the user so get the cloud db's data changed event first we will check if the data is changed against the tag which is equal to the username so from control get the if block and from text get the compare block and here We'll put get tag and if it is equal to whatever is inside the username text box. So if the tag is correct, then this means that this has been successfully saved in the database. So I am going to set my message label dot text. To a text block which says new account created now let's come to the login button click event so get its click event when it is pressed i am going to get the value against this username and what is the value that will be the password that will be returned by the database so go to cloud db and call cloud db dot get value against the tag username and if the value is not there then put in an empty block here and as you know the get value call of cloud db triggers the got value event of cloud db so get that event 
Now, first we will check if our tag is correct. So, we can duplicate this block. Just let's put this on this side here. We will be using it later with a different message. Now, once we know that the tag is correct, now we are going to look at what the database has returned as the value and we will compare it with the password entered by the user. So, go to control, get an if then else block and let's duplicate this, this compare block. Now, this is the value but now I will be checking the value returned by the DB with the password. So, I can duplicate this. So, if my tag is against the username that has been provided by the user and the value against this tag is equal to the password that has been entered by the user, this means that he or she has entered the correct username and password. So, this means that I should open my main screen. So, go to control, get the open another screen block and choose main screen. In the other situation, this means that the password is not correct. So, I'm just going to use this block and tell the user that the password is incorrect. So, basically what we are doing is very simple. When the sign up button is pressed, we are just sending the username as tag and the password as the value against it to be stored. And when it is successfully stored, we show a message to the user saying new account created. And when the user presses the login button with the username and password entered, then we will first check inside the database for the password against this username tag. And once we get it, we will check whether the value returned by the database is the same as the password that has been entered by the user. So, very simple code. So, this is done. However, I haven't added any checks in it for situations like when user presses the buttons without providing anything in the username and password fields. I mean, if the user leaves them empty, that should show an error message to the user. Or the worst case scenario, if the user signs up with a username that is already present in the database, that is CloudDB. Duplicate usernames shouldn't be allowed in real and practical signup screens. Isn't that correct? I will teach all this in the next class. Otherwise, this video would have become too long and a bit complicated too for beginners. But this simple and easy login and signup screen with a beautiful eye-catching interface is 100% done. And it is perfect for beginners. For the error handling checks, don't miss my next video. So, quickly press the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss the notification for my new videos. I teach detailed practical tutorials on coding, mental mass and app development on my channel and I publish new videos every week. So, I hope you like this class. Please like and share with your friends and family. And thank you for watching my video. Have a good day and goodbye.